Today we're gonna to go ahead and take a look at how we can use MIT App Inventor along with the App Companion app on a Chromebook. So in order to do this, we're gonna learn how to go ahead and import a file into MIT App Inventor and then display that AIA file onto our emulator or App Companion. So the first thing we need to do is to go ahead and download an AIA file. So we're gonna to go to our Project Lead the Way course and under Activity 1.1, the App Revolution, we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and we're gonna see under resources that we have this a11 mystery app.aia file. Now this app is meant to just teach you how to go ahead and import this into MIT App Inventor and then how it can be displayed on either the emulator or an Android device or on the app companion on a Chromebook. So no coding involved with this, just a way to kind of demonstrate a couple different things. The first thing we're gonna to need to go ahead and do is go ahead and click on that file. And that file is gonna go ahead and download that into your files app on the Chromebook. You can go ahead and click on show and folder if you would like, or we can actually access that through the uh, file app in our actual launcher. So for right now, now that we actually have that installed, what we're gonna go ahead is jump over to MIT App Inventor. And at this point, you can see that we have zero apps actually imported in. So the first thing we need to do is to bring that AIA file into MIT App Inventor. We can do that by simply going ahead and clicking on My Projects, and then we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click on this Import Project from My Computer. Once you select that, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and choose a file. And once we go ahead and hit Choose File, now we'll need to go ahead and locate that file within our actual Files app. Now, most of the time, it's gonna probably go into that Download folder, but the easiest way to get there is just to go to recent. Now, what you will notice is that I've downloaded this file a few different times, and one of the things that MIT App Inventor does not like are any files that have a parenthesis and then a number within that file name. They will not load correctly, so we need to stay away from them. We're gonna go ahead and click on this one down at the bottom that has no numbers or parentheses within that title, and we can go ahead and click open. What that's going to go ahead and do is ask us to go ahead and open that file in MIT App Inventor, and it will usually take a few seconds, but then we will see that app appear. Now, if we let that app go, what we should see is that that app is now going to be brought into MIT App Inventor where we can start to manipulate the code or the user interface. For this example, we don't really need to do anything with this. We're going to talk about that in a later version. But what we want to actually see is how does this actually function once we transfer that over to either the emulator or the app companion or to our device. So for this, we're gonna go ahead and look at how we can connect this app to the app companion on the actual Chromebook. Now, one of the things that we're gonna look at doing is bringing in that app companion that we installed early. In order to do that, what we're gonna to need to do is go down to our launcher in the bottom left-hand corner, and you may need to hit that up arrow to expand but what you're gonna look for here is you are looking for the MIT App Companion app. And it may be on your second tab, but once you find that MIT AI2 Companion app, we can go ahead and launch that. Now, once that launches, it usually will launch in full screen, but what we're gonna go ahead and do is click on that little square in the middle there. That's gonna shrink it down just a little bit for us, and we can kind of move that off to the side. Now, if we're doing real-time programming, you may want to do a little bit of a split screen with that. So you can't see that if you do click on that screen, right? We can hit the Alt and then the closed bracket. Once we go ahead and do that, that's going to kind of throw it over to the left for me. I can expand that a little bit if I want, but now I can actually see part of my screen as well as the actual emulator or the app companion. So now that we have it all set up, what we wanna do is basically get our program from MIT App Inventor over to the MIT App Companion app. So in order to do this, we're gonna go up to connect, and when we select that down arrow, now that we're on a Chromebook, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select Chromebook, and that should send our code over to our companion app. Now it's gonna ask you what you wanna open it with. You can go ahead and select Remember My Choice if you would like but we are gonna make sure that that MIT AI2 companion is selected. We can go ahead and select open, and what we should see is that that app will be transferred over to the companion app. Now, as we make changes to our actual app in MIT App Inventor, we should be able to see those changes occur on the actual app companion. 
So you can play around with this a little bit and type some things in the boxes and you're gonna to wanna to be using your companion app to see what you wanna type in. So if we were to say hello, we should be able to hit that click me and we should be able to get those sounds that are being produced. So play around with this a little bit and we can kind of see some of the things that are actually are occurring, but that's basically how you can use the MIT app companion app with a Chromebook.